Chapter 1 Samira had been staring into her dressing table mirror all morning before she summoned up the courage to burn off her face. You are not me, she whispered to herself. Whoever you are, you are not me. She heard the clock in the living room downstairs chime twelve, and that was when she stood up and walked over to the door. She turned the key and jiggled the handle to make sure that it was securely locked. Then she returned to her dressing table and picked up the clear glass bottle of concentrated sulfuric acid that was standing next to her Asasi Blue Lady perfume and Masarat Mispa foundation and all her lipsticks and blushes and eyeliners. Behind the cosmetics stood an oval framed photograph of Samira with her husband-to-be, Faraz. They were standing outside the Mahabad Khan Mosque in Peshawar in Pakistan, both smiling. Samira with her hand held up to shield her eyes from the sun. That photograph had been taken only three hours after she had first met Faraz. But she had been happy that they were going to be married. Although he had a large mole on his upper lip, he was reasonably good-looking and soft-spoken, and only four years older than she was. When her father and mother had driven her to his family's house in Hyalabad, she had thought for one terrible, heart-sinking moment that she was going to be given to Wasim, his fat, sweaty, 44-year-old cousin. Wasim had been sitting in the corner, smoking and cramming saffron burfi into his mouth in between puffs. But however suitable Faraz was, there would be no wedding now. Her parents could keep their dowry. They would have only her brother Jamal to worry about, as if Jamal wasn't enough trouble on his own. She didn't look at herself in the mirror again. Instead, she took the bottle of sulfuric acid in her hand and went to the window to stare down at their backyard. It was only about four meters wide, with a narrow flower bed and a concrete path which led up to her father's tool shed. It was here, though, she had spent most of her childhood, ever since her family had arrived in England. Sample complete. Ready to continue?